Time have arrived, Monday, 8 p.m., April 14th, City Council. Please rise and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, justice for all. Councilor Azak. I would like to take a moment of silence for Mr. Eddie Matter, who was a true Brocktonian. He dedicated his life to the city of Brockton. He will be truly missed. He passed away this past week. So if we can take a moment of silence, please. May he rest in peace. Mr. President, if I might. Counselor. I'd like to ask for a moment of silence for a classmate of mine, class of 65, Firefighter Bruce Duquette, actually by a lieutenant who passed away. May he too rest, rest in peace. peace. Uh, Councilors, before we get into the agenda, just remember next Monday night is a holiday here in the Commonwealth. It's Patriots Day Marathon Monday. Uh, we won't be here for finance. We will be here the second the, uh, Tuesday, the night right after. We'll be here at 7 o'clock on April 22nd, a week from uh, this coming Tuesday. Uh, uh, Mr. Clerk, number one, please. Mr. President. Council. If I might, I'd like to make a motion to collect collectively take numbers one through eight. Second. 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 Uh, motion was made properly seconded to take numbers one through eight collectively. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, our motion carries. Excuse Mr. me, Mr. Clerk. President. Um, one through six are appointments. Seven and eight are reappointments. Does that make a difference? It really doesn't for purposes of uh, referring to finance. Okay. But if, if you, if you want to. No, that's okay. Just okay. for my own. Okay. Thank you, Counselor. One through eight, Mr. Clerk. The appointment of Kel Kenneth Galligan, 25 <coughs> senior drive to the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals for a three-year term ending March 2017. Appointment of Robert J. Pelagi, 87 Westfield Drive, as an alternate to the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals for three-year term ending March 2017. Appointment of Peter Marciano, 12 Lorraine Avenue, as an alternate to the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals for three-year term ending March 2017. Reappointment of Stephen Bernard, 130 Highland Street, to the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals, three-year term ending March 2017. Appointment of Mark Norwood, 101 Summer Street, West, to the Brockton Conservation Commission for three-year term ending April 2017. Appointment of Peter Sukarnas, 60 Marlene Avenue, to the Planning Board for five-year term ending April 2019. Reappointment of James Kasseri, 37 Stafford Lane, to the position of Superintendent of Buildings for the City of Brockton for a three-year term ending April 2017. Reappointment of Martin S. Brophy, 50 Morse Avenue, to the position of Treasury Tax Collector for the City of Brockton for a term of three years, ending April 2017. Councilors, numbers one through eight are all respectfully referred to finance. We have the petition of Carlos Lana for a license to suspend a sign at 567 North Main Street in Council April 14, 2014. That is referred to Public Safety Councils. We have the petition of K&S Auto Sales, Inc. for a motor vehicle repair mechanical body license located at 97 Manley Street in City Clerk's Office, February 4, 2014. Hearing is signed for April 14, 2014. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor of this? If so, please uh, come forward and state your name for the clerk. Is there anyone here relative to agenda item number 10? <clears throat> Councilor Yaneri. Councillor, at, at this particular time, since nobody is present, then I would ask that we postpone this till the next regular City Council meeting. Second. 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 Motions were made and properly second to postpone agenda item number 10 to the next, uh, to the next City Council, regular City Council meeting. All in favor of that, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you. Report of the Public Safety for its meeting of two, April 2nd, 2014. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of April 7th, 2014. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the District Treasurer of the Southeastern Regional School District submitting the budget for fiscal 2015. Councilors, that's accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Superintendent of the Southeastern Regional School District requesting a vote to approve the establishment of a stabilization fund according to Mass General Laws, Chapter 71, SS 16, 
uh, G in one half for the Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical School District. That too is accepted and placed on file. Application from the interim chief of police requested to accept a motor vehicle donated to the Brockton Police Department by North End Motors. The vehicle has a Kelly Blue Book value of $2,837 and will be used only in an official law enforcement capacity, primarily for narcotics investigation and surveillance. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That is accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. That also is accepted and placed on file. Application from the Director of Social Service at Safe Corner Street Outreach requests the City Council accept the Safe and Successful Youth Initiative grant from the Executive Office of Health and Human Services in the amount of $228,510.50 through June 30th, 2014. This money will be used for programming at 90 Main Street GED classes, subsidized job placement, case management, outreach services, faith-based home visits and therapy at the Plymouth County House of Correction. There is no required match from the city. That is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief financial officer informing the city council $15,900 is available for transfer from personal services because of an unfilled vacancy and a budget position in the finance department. That is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 recommending a transfer of $15,900 from finance department personal services other than overtime to mayor's personal services other than old overtime in order to fund a budgeting shortfall. This funding will allow the mayor's office to avoid any further staff furloughs furloughs subsequent to Friday, April 25th, 2014. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Executive Director of the Park and Authority requesting transfers totaling $38,691 to snow removal, $8,691 from part-time salaries and $30,000 from the Park and Authority Reserve Account in order to fund the shortfall and snow removal for fiscal 2014. That's accepted and placed on file, Councilors. Application from the Mayor recommending the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the Chairman of the Board of Assessors writing to state that the Assessor's Office has an overlay surplus for the following fiscal year, fiscal 2007, $345,000. This money will be available for fiscal year 2015, commencing July 1, 2014. Accepted and placed on file. <clears throat> Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending a transfer of $175,000 from overlay surplus fiscal year 2007 to Fire Department Personal Services, overtime for fiscal year 2015, to audit to fund budget shortfalls. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the interim <coughs> chief of police requesting a transfer $75,000 for additional patrols to be used during the months of April, May, and June of 2014. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file, councilors. We have the petition of Manley Street Holdings LLC for garage license 97 Manley Street Clerk's Office, February 4th, 2014, here and assigned for March 24th, 2014, 8 p.m. In Council, March 24th, 2014, <coughs> Council Ianeri, motion to continue to first council meeting in April, properly seconded. A motion carried by a hand vote. Councilor. Thank you, Mr. President. Obviously, there, is, uh, there was nobody here for the uh, uh, first hearing in regards to uh, 97 Manly Street, so again, I would request that this be postponed or continued until the next the city council Second. meeting. On the motion, Councilor, let me just, let me see if anybody is. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Anyone here in favor? If so, come forward to the clerk. Councilor, you made a motion that was properly seconded, correct? Correct. Motion is made properly seconded. Continue uh, agenda item number 33 to the next regular scheduled city council meeting. All in favor of that, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. Thank you, Councilor. Renewal petition of community carriages, DBA Collins Taxi, located at 383 Warren Avenue, Brockton, for eight taxi licenses in council March 24, 2014. We're going to refer the committee, <clears throat> and the return is uh, favorable. Councilors, questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. 
Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Vincent. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Causes petition is hereby adopted. Renewal petition of Brian Parker's DBA Brian's Taxi Inc. 20 Putnam Street, Brockton, for 17 taxi licenses. In Council, March uh, 10, 2014, read and referred to Committee on Licenses. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Petition is hereby adopted. Appointment of Gary Keith, 94 Provost Street, Brockton, to the Brockton Planning Board. Council. Uh, would like to, uh, the appointments uh, from appointment uh, order number 36 to 46, would like to take them collectively, please. Second. Second. Accepting 39. Yeah, accepting 39, Councilor. We'll do, uh, a motion's been made, Councilor, if you want to uh, change, modify your uh, the motion. Yes, we'll take uh, items 36, exclude 39 to 46. Motion was made and properly seconded to take collectively numbers 36, 37, 38, excluding 39, 40 through 46. All in favor of that? Mr. President, Mr. President. Councilor. A quick question or a quick comment on the item number 45. I had requested last time that the name actually be changed to Yolandu versus Yolanda. I don't know if that actually makes a difference on the um, on the on hey, the license. You're right, Council. It's just a scrivener's error, but we'll we'll have that corrected for the final. All right. Thank you, Council. That's a lot, right? Mr. Clerk, we'll take those collectively, excluding 39. Okay. Following appointments from City Council, March 24, 2014, were read and referred to the Standing <clears throat> Committee on Finance. The reports were favorable. Gary Keith to the Brockton Planning Board for five-year term ending March 2019. Ollie Spears, the Planning Board for five-year term ending March 2019. Appointment of Ross Messina, uh, the second Planning Board for five-year term ending March 2019. The appointment of Greg Pina, Conservation Commission for a three-year term ending March 2017. Uh, the appointment of Bertie Hassan, Brockton Water Commission for a three-year term ending March 2017. <laughs> Emergency Management Director of the City of Brockton. Uh, Manusaterio for the Cable Television Board for a three-year term ending March 2017. Martin Schleffer for a three-year term ending March 2017. Leolando de Gracia Montero, Constable in the City of Brockton term three years. Appointment of Agent Polonese uh, Constable, City of Brockton, term three years. Uh, Kenneth Galligan, Brockton Traffic Commission for three-year term in March 2017. I'm sorry, Mr. Clark, we'll stop at 46. Oh, 46. Yeah, 46. Okay. Thank you. Uh, questions on the confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Appointments are hereby confirmed. Uh, number 39, Mr. Clerk. Eunice, 191 Prospect Street, Brockton. Brockton Conservation Commission for three-year term ending March 2017. And Council March 24, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, there's questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Four minutes hereby confirmed. Mr. President. Councilor. Would like to uh, what are we on? Uh, take items 47 to 52 collectively, please. Second. 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 52. Uh, numbers 47 through 52. Motions were made to take those uh, uh, agenda items 47 through 52 collectively. Uh, all in favor of that, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. In Council March 24, 2014. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. The report was favorable. That's from 47. Is that correct? To 52? 47 to 52. Okay. Yes. Kenneth Galligan, Traffic Commission for a three year term ending March 2017. Ozzie Jordan, Commission for, uh, 
Brockton Water Commission for three-year term ending March 2017. Robert J. Harrington, Board of Assessors for the City of Brockton for three-year term ending March 2017. William R. Thomas, Thomas Jr., Constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years. Uh, David Lynch, Constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years. And Kenneth uh, G. LaGrees, Constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years. Council, the question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you would please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. McGuire. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven Those reappointments are hereby confirmed. An ordinance amending Article 19 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 1, <coughs> uh, one. Chapter 19, Police Department and Council, January 27, 2014, referred to the Outstanding Committee on Ordinance and Council, March 24, 2014, Council Monaghan motion to refer to the first Finance Committee meeting in April, properly seconded. Motion carried by a hand vote. Uh, <coughs> the ordinance was recommended favorably as amended. Council Cruz. Make a motion to table this. Second. <coughs> Motion's been made, properly seconded to table this. All in favor of that motion, please uh, raise your May I ask for a um, roll call vote, please? We may. Thank uh, you. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Motion has been made, properly seconded to the table. Azar. Yes. Barnes. No. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. No. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. No. Eight in the affirmative, three in the negative. Matter is tabled. Transfer of $11,864 from Personnel Department, Employee Benefits, Unemployment, Mayor's Department, Personal Services, not to pay for separation costs. In Council, March 24, 2014, for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Council's questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Huh? Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Yes. Why? Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. No. Ten in the affirmative, one in the negative. Uh, the uh, transfer is hereby adopted. Part of the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brock require the laying out of Eastfield Drive and Council March 24, 2014. Refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Passes this question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Order is adopted. Order the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the layout of Fairbanks Road in Council March 24, 2014. Refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council's question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. Order that the City Council hereby establishes the application yes. fee required by the ordinance to be $1,500. Regulated the location, medical marijuana, cultivation, harvesting, dispensing, and other relative activities is allowed by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And Council February 24, 2014, with the Committee on Finance, that is recommended favorably as amended. Council, the first, the question is on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment, please raise your hand. All opposed, the amendment carries. The question now is on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Yes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Why? Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is hereby adopted. Resolved that the real estate custodian attorney Benjamin Bell, 16 <coughs> Patriots Way, Mansfield, be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss the position of real estate custodian and his plan of how he will undertake to fulfill the duties and responsibilities of this position. In council March 24, 2014, for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Y
Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Squad. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Vegas. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Uh, resolve is hereby adopted. Resolved that the mayor, the treasurer collector, and the acting city auditor be invited to appear before the committee of this council to discuss the position of real estate custodian and to provide financial, administrative, and historical information about the position of real estate custodian. In council March 24, 2014, refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clark, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Why? Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Kaninsky. Yes. Solomon. Yes. Resolve is hereby adopted. Resolved that the city's chief financial officer, solicitor, and treasurer collector come before the finance committee to discuss payment in lieu of taxes programs on how they may be implemented between the city and certain non -pay tax paying entities located within Brockton and Council March 24, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Counselors, this is my resolve. I'm going to respectfully ask uh, one of my colleagues to send this back to finance. As the mayor was here last week and indicated this is an ongoing situation, I think it's appropriate to send it back to Fenton. Make a motion to send it back to finance. Second. Second. Motion was made properly seconded to send uh, agenda item number 60 back to finance. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, motion carries. Result, Thank you. <clears throat> DPW Commissioner Mr. Mike Thorson, Water Superintendent Mr. Larry Raleigh, and Mr. Jason Glonowski, a resident of the city, come before the Finance Committee to discuss the current status of water pressure and water issues throughout the city of Brockton. In Council March 24, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, this qu the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Again, Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Squire. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Questions. Uh, the uh, order is hereby adopted. Ordinance, in order to ensure the development of the neighborhood, the following parcels of land are hereby rezoned to R1C, Plot 28, Interville Street, Plots 1, 2, 3, Arthur Street. Referred to both ordinance and planning. Ordered that the City Council authorizes the acceptance of a vehicle donation, which has a Kelly Blue Book value $2,837, from North End Motor to City of Brockton Police Department. This vehicle will be used only in official law enforcement capacity, primarily for narcotics and investigations and surveillance. Council Leonieri. Mr. President, thank you. And members of the Council, uh, since the Police Department has already received this vehicle and is using it, I'd like to motion this evening that we suspend the rules and act on it. Second. As well. Second. Motions made to uh, act uh, under the suspension of rules and uh, vote on this tonight. All in favor of that motion, all opposed, that motion carries. Uh, matter comes, uh, questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. No. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative, one in the negative. Order is hereby adopted. Order that the DPW is authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection for Plot 2 Edgar Street, owned by Steve Torrey. That is referred to finance. And the transfer of $15,900 from Finance Department Personal Services other than overtime to Mayor's Personal Services other than overtime. Cause is referred to finance. Transfer of $75,000 from Overlay Surplus Fiscal 2007 to Police Department Personal Services Overtime for Fiscal Year 2015. Refer to Finance. Transfer of $175,000 from Overlay Surplus Fiscal 2007 to Fire Department Personal Services Overtime for Fiscal Year 2015. Council Cruz. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the Fire Chief's going to be out of town next week, so I'd like to make a motion that we uh, uh, take this under suspension of the rules and act second. on this this evening. Motion was made, properly seconded, to uh, take it under suspension rules and act on this uh, transfer request uh, tonight. The chief is in attendance. If anybody has any questions before we uh, take uh, a vote. I have a question. <clears throat> chief, if you could come forward. Council Dubois. Thank you. Hi, Chief. How are you? Good, Council. How are you? I'm good. Um, are there other years that have overlay surpluses that you, you or your men and women will be able to tap into? or? Um, I have no idea. That came from the uh, CFO. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any, Ms. Anybody Ms. else? Mr. President, point of information for the new councillors. The overlay surplus account that says Machine. year 2007 is an account that's uh, kept in the assessor's office okay. to pay Ms. tax Ms. abatements and has to be kept for, that's I believe incorrect. it's five years, and then it becomes available, the surplus becomes available to use, and that's what the overlay surplus fiscal year 2007 account is. So it's just point of information for the new council. Thank you, council. Thank, thank, you. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. President. And the, and the other thing is, this is not for fiscal year 2015. The, the chief uh, did mention to us it's only until June 30th. Is that correct, chief? Thank you. Thank yeah, you, Mr. That's, President. That's the scrivener's error. Thank you. Anything else, any other further questions for the chief while he's here tonight? No? The question is uh, now on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Why? Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Transfers hereby adopted. Appropriation of $228,510.50 from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Health Human Services Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant to Office of the Mayor Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant Fund. That is referred to Finance Committee. An appropriation of $38,691 from parking meter reserve fees, $30,000, and from parking authority part-time, $8,691, to parking authority snow removal. That is referred to Finance Committee Councils. The resolve that the mayor, the library director, the chairman of the board of library trustees, the superintendent of the buildings, and the chairman of the library foundation be invited to appear before a committee of this council to provide information on planned improvements to the West Branch Library. That is referred to Finance Committee. Resolved that the city's mayor, chief financial officer, DPW commissioner, Mr. George Woodbury, a representative of Solux Consulting, come before the Finance Committee to discuss the potential of street lights conversion to LED lighting and other technological upgrades associated with operating cost reductions and benefits to the city of Brockton. Refer to finance. <clears throat> Resolved that the mayor, chief of the city, Public Safety Departments, the Chief Financial Officer, the Chairman of the Board of Assessors, be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss the impact upon the city in providing such essential services to nonprofits, the community benefits to the city resulting from the mission of the nonprofits, and to review ways to strengthen the partnership between the city and its tax exempt institutions. Refer to Finance Committee. Mr. President. Council Dubois. May I have a moment of personal privilege? You may, Councilor. So I'm standing here tonight to make a public um, request for an emergency meeting of the License Commission. Most of you know that there was the third murder at the Lit Bar on Ames Street just a couple nights ago. This seems to be a recurring event. Within every year, there's another murder at this bar, and this is the third one in four years. It's becoming, um, it's troubling already to the neighborhood. It, this bar is a cancer to the neighborhood, and it's being operated like a drug den. So I'm making a public request that there be an emergency meeting of the License Commission called. I've had several emails from the mayor's chief of staff, and as of today, there's still no plans for an emergency License Commission meeting. Um, and as of the last email from the mayor's chief of staff, he'll be having conversations with the city solicitor tomorrow to even see if there's going to be any follow-up action at all about this murder, which I find um, yeah. unacceptable. Uh, we should be having an emergency meeting of the License Commission like we did with the last murder and like we did with the murder before at the same establishment. I can't remember in the history of Brockton the number of murders that have been allowed to occur under one person's watch as an irresponsible bar owner as what is occurring in the Lithuanian village. And there are a lot of taxpayers that live there and a lot of new homes that are being built there and a lot of children that we deserve to be treating better and that we deserve to be protecting more. Lit and one final note, literally there's a bus driving family. They, bu they bu drive children to school every day and their child goes in their own backyard to play in their own backyard and one of the drug addicts from that bar that was doing drugs behind the bar offered their 12 year old daughter marijuana. And this is what's occurring at this bar. It is time that we say no more to this. So thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you, Councilor. Council, is anybody else? A uh, couple pieces of information. Again, we're going to be here Tuesday, uh, April 22nd. Uh, on behalf of the City Council, uh, I'd like to uh, wish everybody that's celebrating either Passover or Easter happy celebration. I also, Councilors, wanted to bring your attention to a, uh, a letter that I received 
right here, and I did check with his parents to see if I could read it. I thought it was important to read. It's from Patrick Monahan, who's a second grade student at Trinity Catholic Academy. And he wrote, Dear Mr. Sullivan, I think the bumpy road is a problem in my community. On my way to Cub Scouts, I'm a Wolf Scout. I don't want this bumpy problem to occur to other Cub Scouts that live near me. Can you fix it? I would like a response from you. And he drew me a great picture. And I think that's a good example. I mean, this, this, this is an eight-year-old that took the time to write to an elected official. So out of that, I took the time to write back to him, Council. And I wanted to just uh, tell you, I wrote, Dear Patrick, I want to thank you for taking the time to write to me about the current road street conditions in Brockton. As an elected official, father of three young children and a taxpayer, I am also very concerned about the current road street conditions and how the winter has severely damaged them with large pot potholes. It does create a safety issue to all that travel throughout our city. I will be sharing your letter with my colleagues on the Brockton City Council and I will also provide it to our mayor. I know the Department of uh, Public Works, DPW, will be working on major repairs as soon as possible. They are currently doing patching to fill in holes that have been reported to City Hall. Once again, I want to thank you for writing to me and for your dedication to better our City of Champions. Yours truly, Robert Sullivan. Uh, Councils, this is uh, really a, an example of, uh, of the, the next generation. That's why we're serving. So I just wanted to share that with you. And Patrick asked me to uh, please let you know. And, uh, and you'll each get a copy, and the mayor will get a copy as well. Anything else before us tonight? I wish everybody uh, happy holidays.